There is a verdict in the trial of a man who's accused of beating a McDonald's manager in Chesterfield using a garden rake. Fox News' Andy Banker has the verdict and the exclusive evidence photos. Judge Nellie Roboto found 38-year-old Kendall Cooks guilty of smashing the victim's car window with a rake, then beating him with it. A weapon was used, a rake. The victim was in his car, and Mr. Cooks used the rake to assault the victim and in the process the victim lost his eye. So, you know, I mean, it's a it was a very dangerous crime, obviously a life-threatening crime. In her verdict, the judge noted the victim removed his prosthetic eye to show the court during the June 14th bench trial, demonstrating the severity of his injuries. The attack happened in January of 2019 at this McDonald's on Olive near Woods Mill. The manager was sitting in his vehicle near the trash dumpster during a work break. He had earlier fired Cook's daughter Cooks claimed the manager shoved her out the restaurant door, fueling his rage when he came to the McDonald's and grabbed the rake from near the dumpster. But authorities say video from the McDonald's shows the manager stumbled. There may have been a slight inadvertent bump, but no one shoved anybody, and certainly no one deserved a beating like this. Evidence photos show blood and broken glass inside the victim's vehicle. Cooks swung the rake with enough force to puncture the victim's door. The defense argued Cooks had adequate cause and that the victim was intoxicated while at work, but the judge found him guilty of assault first, armed criminal action, and misdemeanor property damage. Prosecutors point to the case as a commitment to justice, even through the delays of the pandemic. Once you cross that line and if there's violence involved, um, you know, that's a case that either somebody's assuming that the evidence is there, somebody's either going to end up pleading guilty to or it's going to go to trial, but it's not going to be dismissed. Cooks shook his head after the judge read the verdict. He faces a potential prison term of 30 plus years when he is sentenced next month. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.